After a year of work and a long journey, the Ravens, 144 left to play in the AFC Championship. Yeah. The outcome is as large as it gets, a trip to the Super Bowl. Right now, the ticket in the hands of the Patriots, but hope still in the hands of Joe Flacco. 31 seconds left in the AFC Championship. Flacco from the gun. Looks right, pumps once. Fires end zone. Caught! Touchdown! No! He dropped it! They ruled he didn't hold on to the ball. And the drama builds. comes Billy Cundiff to tie this game and in all likelihood send it to overtime. A 32-yard field goal attempt. 15 seconds left. The season on the line. Snap. Ball down. Kick up. Kick in. He hooked it. No good. No good. He missed it. He missed it from 32 yards. Celebration for the Patriots. Disbelief for the Ravens. We've saved one last set of very special highlights as we like to acknowledge what was an inspirational story that exemplifies the best of the National Football League and its players. On Sunday night in the game that Chris Collinsworth called, just hours after the death of his brother in a motorcycle accident, Baltimore Ravens receiver Torrey Smith produced a career performance against the New England Patriots. And here are the highlights. From m t Bank Stadium, a rematch of the AFC Championship game won by the Patriots back in January in Foxborough. Let's see, stop hey. for a Super Bowl run, man! Get pissed off right now! We need a one-on-one battle! Hey, hey. When these two teams get together, it is always electric. Y'all gotta go and attack it! Let them come back! Spike's gonna make that play! Joe Flacco and the Ravens. A race to 13 to nothing first quarter deficit. Dennis Pitta, near sideline, 10 yard line. Hurt the man, and he did. Touchdown, Dennis Pitta. Ravens receiver Torrey Smith was playing less than 24 hours after his 19 year old brother was killed in a motorcycle accident. Hey, hey. Flacco, far side, look at end zone. Smith, his touchdown reception, the stuff of magic. His first touchdown reception of this season. It comes on the worst night of his life. Smith led Baltimore with six catches, 127 receiving yards, and two scores. Under pressure on the run, throws end zone. Caught, touchdown, Torrey Smith. The magic is still in the house. The game featured nearly 900 yards of offense and five lead changes. We still got more football to play. We still got more football to play. And the end was eerily similar to last year's AFC Championship. Ray Lewis coming up the middle on the blitz. Brady's pass intercepted. Lardarius went to the 40-yard line, but a penalty flag is thrown right at the spot of the interception. In sportsmanlike conduct, defense on the bench, 15-yard penalty. John Harbaugh is saying, I was trying to call timeout and get your attention. The NFL cracked down on coaches coming out on the field this week and trying to intimidate these refs. You know Harbaugh was still worked up over that last call. Comes out there, who knows what he was doing. He's claiming he was trying to call timeout. The official wasn't buying it. He's begging the official to come over and talk to him, and instead... He got a flag. He's saying, I'm trying to call timeout. 
That's the loudest manure chant I've ever heard. We have to make one play. One play, baby. We've been here before. Come on. 155 left in the ball game. Ravens trailing 30 to 28. Just like in January, Flacco drove his team into range for a field goal. This one, a potential game winner. Let our offense do what they do. We got the best one, the best kick us in the game. Third down and nine. Fires the ball far sideline, and it is incomplete. A penalty flag is down. And it will be pass interference on New England. First and goal, Ravens. So this game is going to come down to the foot of rookie kicker Justin Tucker. He beat out Billy Cundin. Everybody in Baltimore knows the outcome of the last kick of Billy Cundin's career as a Raven. Here we stand in September. Two seconds left to play. Justin Tucker from 27 yards for the win. It's up. It is good. And the Ravens have beaten the Patriots. This is not revenge for January. No. This is for Tory Smith. One night removed from the death of his 19-year-old brother, Tory Smith playing the game of his life to honor that brother. Tory Smith. You know, if it wasn't for y'all, I, I don't think I would've even been, been here today. You know, it's just tough, man. I appreciate all the support. You know, y'all really made me feel better. And, you know, I, it's going to make this fight a whole lot easier. You know, a lot easier to get over with, man. And I just appreciate y'all. love all y'all, coaches, players, everyone, man. And just thank you. Yes. Love you, man. Love you. Love you. The Ravens have already faced many challenges, playing four games in 17 days. The death of former owner Art Modell, as well as wide receiver Torrey Smith's brother. The latest challenge, a rash of injuries to the defense, which has raised questions about the team's long-standing identity and whether that identity must change if they are to make another Super Bowl run. Hey, through any adversity, character is built. We got to find out who we are today. A stifling defense. It's been the Ravens' calling card since coming to Baltimore. And the Ravens are the champions of the world. It's a unit which is ranked among the top 10 in the NFL for nine straight seasons. Yo, Baltimore is here. Baltimore, we here. But for the first time in a decade, Baltimore's defensive foundation is showing cracks. Once again, the run defense struggling for the Ravens today. It has been back-to-back -back weeks that you guys have allowed over 200 yards rushing. When you hear that statistic, what goes through your mind? Just thought our run defense was disgusting. I thought it never would happen to us because of the type of players we have on our defense. But the answer to the struggles and recent losses of defensive cornerstones, linebacker Ray Lewis and cornerback Ladarius Webb, may not come from the defense at all. There's been a dramatic role reversal here in Baltimore. The defense has ranked higher than the offense in each of the last 14 seasons. But heading into this week, the offense is ranked eighth overall, the defense just 26th. Now it's the Ravens' turn to accept the passing of the baton. We're starting to see the evolution of the offense. The Ravens have always been this dominant mm -hmm. defensive team. Is there a shift you see to the offense? Um, it definitely is right now. Uh, offense is, is scoring a lot of points for us, and, and we're not doing our job at, at keeping um, points down. Des Bryant, he's got it for a Dallas touchdown. Does the offense feel more pressure? At this point, given all the defensive injuries? Um, no. Our, our goal is a guard that we try to score as many points as possible every game. Me you knowing that score every time we touch the ball. Torrey Smith has it for a Ravens touchdown! This is the kind of offensive football we like. I could care less if it's a back and forth scoring game all day. That means we gotta go out there and we gotta do our job, and you know, that's what we should want as an offense. Good job, baby. Is this Joe Flacco's team? Is it Joe's team? I don't know. I think he's definitely taking control you know, on the offensive side of the ball, and he has the respect from everyone in the locker room. I think you can't say it's his team, but Ray Lewis is here, so. 
That's right. The NFL's second oldest active defensive player may be off the field for now, but it's best not to count out this defense or the return of its longtime leader. How strange is it going to be without Ray out there telling you where to go? Uh, you know, I never even thought about it yet. I believe and he believes that he'll be back. Just knowing what kind of type of worker he is, he's going to work his butt off to try to get back on the field with us. Just talking to him a day ago, just saying, I'll be back, don't worry. And once he said that, I already knew um, that I have faith that he's, he'll come back and tell me where to go and push me around. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll welcome that. Yeah, exactly. Through the first six weeks, the Ravens have overcome many physical and emotional challenges, but have yet to lose their focus. Part of being a Raven, you know, you have to be able to fight through adversity and come out on top. And we've been able to do that really every game except for one. You have said if you don't get to the Super Bowl and win it, it's not a successful season. With all the injuries you have now, do you still feel that way? Uh, definitely. You know, that doesn't change it. You know, it's obviously we're losing. A guy like Webby and, you know, Ray is tough. But still, if we don't win the Super Bowl, then I think it's a waste. Last Sunday against the Cowboys, victory would rest on the shoulders of Joe Flacco and the offense. Let's go, Jack right, zoom, act two, half back, slow screen left, Waco, Owen, already. Double right, NASCAR, Lincoln, New York. Rocket, rocket, rocket. Flacco, Ohio man, alert, Joe Stretch. What is it? <laughs> This week, just five months removed from surgery for a torn Achilles, he's in the starting lineup. I'm not quite sure I've ever seen anything quite like this, Greg, where with only three practices under his belt, Terrell Suggs is out on the football field. This is nothing short of remarkable. On first down, shot, under pressure and goes down. Yes. Terrell Suggs. Yes, it is. Look at that. I am back, and this is remarkable.
coverage for Ray Rice. He's at 45, 50. Coming near side, Skip Farms a man. Chance a tackle. Charger 40. Gets a block 35. He's close to the 34. No flags on the play. Ray Rice has the first down, and the Ravens are still alive with 139 left to play. And number 81 just leveled a Charger defender. <laughs> Pressure from Maloney Nada and sack. Back at the 14 yard line. The slot right, Jacoby Jones far right. Black of the throw. Has time. Crossing pattern complete. Ray Rice 15, 10, 5, and he's in. Touchdown, Ravens. The difference was for us, I just think we had a little bit more sense of urgency because we knew what was at stake. This was a championship game for us. You know, next week, yeah. We understand what that game is, but this was the championship for us. This was, you know what, solidified a home playoff game, you know, back-to-back, -back, you know, division champs. That's huge around here. So, you know, the expectation is to win. So we'll humble ourselves. We'll enjoy this win, and we'll get back to work, you know, in Cincinnati because, and obviously, the, you know, they're our next opponent, but playoff. Football essentially started today. We have breaking news here, and it is breaking news from Baltimore, where Ray Lewis has told the Baltimore Ravens today that this will be his final ride. This is it. He is retiring after the season. He left it vague as to whether or not he would play this wild card weekend when the Ravens take on the Indianapolis Colts, but he made it pretty clear that he hopes to be out there and that this, whenever this ends, 
the Ravens run will be it for Ray Lewis. His final stop for Canton, Ohio in the Pro Football Hall of Fame after 17 seasons. Lewis suffered a triceps injury back in week six. There was some thought that we may see him on the field at the end of the regular season. He was active the last couple of weeks. However, we did not. Again, Ray Lewis tells the Baltimore Ravens that he plans to retire after this season. You know, I, I talked to him about life, life in general. And everything that starts has an end. It's just life. And for me, you know, today, I told my team that this will be my last ride. Yeah. And, um, and, I, and, I, and I, I told them, I just, I just felt so much peace in the way I am with my decision because of everything that I've done in this league. I've done it. You know, I've done it, man. There's no you know, accolade that I don't have individually, but I've never played the game for individual stats. You know, I've only played the game to, to make my team be a better team. And, and now, God is, God is calling. On his knees, bowed in prayer, now stands, along with 71,000 Ravens fans, listen in as the last dance begins in Baltimore. For 17 years, Ray Lewis left everything he had on the field for the Baltimore Ravens. His final home game would be no exception. today just too many mistakes against a veteran team you can't make them hey what a glorious day glorious what a glorious praise, day man praise you god I'm telling praise you, man. you lord thank you he's god. awesome so man he's so awesome gracious. man i have you take a bow i might put you on victory be the back guy okay i'll go get my helmet yeah let's do that it is all about ray lewis today don't tackle, don't tackle the quarterback, all right? I won't. We're on offense, baby. I won't. All right. Ray Lewis is running on the field and will sit as the deep back in the victory receiver. formation. I'm reporting eligible. He's on the field <laughs> for his final play cool. in Baltimore in a Ravens uniform. There's the snap, and that is the end of an era in Baltimore as the Ravens have defeated the Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> 24 to 9. And Ray Lewis closes out this chapter of an extraordinary career. Let's go home, man. Let's go home, man. I love y'all to death. I love y'all to death, boy. In Denver, the sounds of playoff football echoed across the Rockies as the Broncos squared off against the Baltimore Ravens. Come on, 
four quarters, 15 minutes at a time. Blood demands blood. You say you want to be champion? Go prove it. Trenton Holiday back at the 20. Holiday backpedals, makes the catch at the 12. The speed through the 15 to 20. Holiday steps out of a tackle. 35 40. Here we go. Holiday down the east sideline. The 25 to 20. Holiday 15 10 5. Touchdown, Denver. Calm down. Calm Davis down. Trail 7 0. Early in the first quarter. Takes the snap. Broncos rush four. Blacko with time. Lost the ball deep. Down the middle. Torrey Smith has it at the 10. And he's in. Touchdown. Manning in the shotgun on third down and seven. Fires and it is broken up and intercepted. Corey Graham. He's going to the house and the Ravens have taken the lead. Hey, this ain't the fight they want to be in. Manning from the gun. Ravens rush three. Manning bounces around plenty of time. Stokely makes the catch. Back of the end zone. Touchdown, Denver. Fires down the far sideline. Caught! Corey oh. Smith! What a drop! Touchdown, Ravens! What'd I tell you? Yeah. What'd I tell you? Sometimes it's gotta be great. It ain't gonna be perfect every time. Second half kickoff in the air. Holiday, some three yards deep, decides to bring it out. The 5, the 10. Holiday makes a cut. 15, 20. Holiday with the kicker to beat. Does so. Steps down a tackle. Here we go again. Midfield. Holiday, a foot race. You ain't going to catch him. Touchdown, Trendon Holiday. He does it again. Hey, 97, we going to kick your ass. Hey, 97. 97, we going to kick your ass. We're gonna kick your ass! I don't fight you! <laughs> that's, my, that's my friend. Oh, I, we don't know that. We yeah, don't, he we, played for us. I know, we don't know Stand that. Up. Man, it comes once. Hit a sack back at the 27 yard line. <laughs> Terrell Suggs applying the pressure. Listen to me. There is no fear. There is no fear. Clock is running. The Ravens are looking at a third down and three. Do whatever you want. Denver rushes three. Blacko steps up, throws deep. Far sideline, Jacoby Jones has it at the 20. Jacoby Jones, touchdown, Ravens. No flags on the play, and the miracle is answered. Hey, don't y'all wish it a time like this. This next time we go out there is so crucial. He finna get desperate, he wanna make a play. Manning in the shotgun. Looks left, nothing there, looks over the middle. Now he's chased out of the pocket. Cooper on the run. Manning's pass is intercepted, Corey Graham! Hey, so field goal to win? Yeah, yeah. A 47-yard field goal try in overtime to win it. Kick on the way. Kick is long enough. It is good! Good game, guys. He just told me to get us home. Let's get him home. I think I, I think we're the only group of people that believe in our fans that we could do it. This is off. This is my first win against Peyton Manning. It's just it'll be a sweet plane ride home. A lot of emotions, man. Cause just a team of destiny. I mean, you look look at the way the game was played today. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't. Perfect, but it was us. How much are you riding the emotional wave that Lewis is providing right now, though? We'll take it as long as it's going to take us. You know what? It's his last ride. Why not send him off the right way? These are the games that we used to lose, and now we're finding ways to win them. Team of destiny, man. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Today is all we got. Hit him in the mouth, huh? The ball gets out. Take the third from glory. That's the first ever thing you got for each other today. And let's walk out of here, champ. So now it comes back to 
to a rematch of last year's AFC Championship game. You're the same team, the same men, the same coaching staff for the Ravens. The Ravens, Patriots, a trip to the Super Bowl on the line. He lets him go by to the inside so he can't get out of bounds and then undercuts the throw. Absolute second half dominance by Baltimore. We talked at the top about same time, same place. This year, different result. 
John Harbaugh said a lot of long days and a quick year, and here they are again. The road to New Orleans will include Ray Lewis as the ride continues. No, this is all for him. We're doing this for Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis has done so much for his team and for the and for Baltimore, and um, for us to help him get to the Super Bowl for his retirement, um, it, it's just an amazing feeling. You know, for me to come out and say that this is my last ride, and for me now to be headed back to the Super Bowl, for a possibility of me possibly winning the second ring, <laughs> you know, how else do you cap off a career? Game is over. The 49ers are going to the Super Bowl, and Baltimore is heading to New Orleans. I mean, I think I'm the best. I don't think I'm the top five. I mean, I think I'm the best. I don't think too many people have the ability that I have. When the playoffs come, Joe Flacco elevates his game. Touchdown, Ravens! Get yeah, away to go get that, man! Flacco throws deep. Touchdown! Oh! And the Ravens are going to the AFC Championship game! What he's doing right now is simply unbelievable. Flacco throws end zone. And Juan Bolden! Touchdown! It is all over! And Joe Flacco will go to his first Super Bowl. Big time, baby! Come to New Orleans, man! Eight touchdowns, no interceptions in the postseason for the Ravens quarterback. Is he elite or not? He's not the elite quarterback quite yet that he thinks he is. I don't know why people keep doubting him because the bigger the situation is, the bigger he plays. When he wins that Super Bowl ring, I'm telling you, everybody's going to put this guy where he belongs. No weapon. No weapon. Both against the Ravens. Jump run, jump run. Man, stay together! Stay together we have all year long! What time is it? What time is it? I promise you, man! You will win this game! I promise you! The Ravens, the 49ers, the first Super Bowl to be contested here in 11 years. Leaves it, open net, and he's got Smith. Flacco, end zone bound, and he's got a touchdown! An accurate throw here would have been a touchdown. What a jump on the snap count. Ball is out and it's fallen on by Jones. Play action fake to Rice. Black has hit it for the touchdown. Touchdown Baltimore. Going to throw it. Middle of the field and he's intercepted by Reed. Reed had just tied the postseason record. Field goal attempt. Tucker's running it, short of the first. You saw the frustration on Jim Harbaugh. Flacco leaves it down the field, but upon as Jones catches his own his back, he can get up. Jones makes the shift. Jones to the end zone, and he's in for the score. What a play by Jacoby Jones. And this could be a run back from nine deep for Jacoby Jones. And look at him go. He is flying. 109 yards and a touchdown. An all-time record. Half the power in New Orleans Stadium, the Superdome here, is out. No question this game or this delay is going to affect in some way the momentum of this game coming out just after halftime after the long return by Jacoby Jones. And Kaepernick again. Zips it in there. Crabtree still on his feet and in for the touchdown. And the Niners find the end zone for the first time. Oh, and they sack of It's Gore running right side, and Gore has the edge and the touchdown. San Francisco. Going to Rice. Ball's out. Ball is out and thrown on by Brown. 17 points in a four-minute, ten-second stretch. And Kaepernick will stop trying to take it up. Inside the 10, Kaepernick's in for the touchdown. Wow, did he get there in a hurry. They're going to throw for it. Flacco pass, holding in for a catch by Bolden for Justin Tucker. And the rookie from Texas, Baltimore by five. Second and goal on the way. A rookie firing incomplete. Wins it. Smash. Incomplete is the call. 150 to play and fourth and goal. Lost it in the air. No flag. Incomplete. Coach Jim wants a holding call, but he doesn't get it. 50. And the Ravens have won it. 34 31. The Super Bowl belongs to Baltimore. Congratulations.
congratulations on a great championship. Okay, Baltimore fans, this is what you're waiting for. Five straight playoff appearances, and now you reach the mountaintop. Steve, Coach Harbaugh, Ozzy, Dick, congratulations on a great championship. The Ravens are world champions. Steve Bajotti, what can you say about your team and your coaches? Uh, resilience, like all great teams have. Um, I want to thank the, uh, the city of New Orleans for what is just a spectacular way to celebrate. I've never seen anything like it. And uh, to my partners, Dick, Ozzy, John, and all our fans back in Baltimore, we're bringing another one home for you. Hand off that trophy to coach John Harbaugh. As he looks down to O.J. Brigantz and makes sure that he realizes that this is also a part of him. O.J. I'll tell you all the Ravens fans, collectively, as loud as we possibly can for O.J. Brigantz, a big cheer for O.J. How did your team do it? It's been about overcoming adversity all year long. You had the power outage here. The momentum shifted. How did you guys do it? Right, Jim. How could it be any other way? You know, we talk to our guys all the time. It's never pretty. It's never perfect. But it is us. And that was us today, just the way we do it. How hard was it going against your brother out there? It was really hard. And I'll tell you, at the end of the game, it was the hardest thing I've ever experienced. What did you say to him? I told him I, told him I loved him. And what did he say? He said, congratulations. John, congratulations to you. Super Bowl champions. We're looking for Joe Flacco, the MVP of the Super Bowl. Joe. little um, symbolic passing of the torch there as Ray Lewis slaps you on the back and you really have in this postseason become the man for the Ravens in the future tell me about this performance by your team and winning the world championship oh it's unbelievable I tell you what we don't make it easy but um, that's the way the city of Baltimore is that's the way we are um, You know, we did this for them back home. We had a great send-off, and we can't wait to get back there for the parade, so. Lift that trophy in the air one more time here, Joe Flacco. There you go. And hand it off to Ray Lewis. Baltimore! <laughs> How do you describe it, Ray? How do you describe it going out as a champion? It's simple. When God is for you, who can be against you? It's no greater way as a champ to go out on your last ride with the men that I went out with, with my teammates, and you looked around this stadium, and Baltimore, Baltimore, we coming home, baby! We did it! Look who we have here, right on our set, fresh off a win on the field. He watched football growing up in here in this town of New Orleans, a Super Bowl champion, Ed Reed. How are you, Ed? Oh, man, for Baltimore, oh, man, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. To be up here with Marshall, champion. Dion, champion. Mike, champion. Come on, man. Ed Reed. I'm proud, man. Champion. Champion. Hey, Champion. baby. I was waiting. I was waiting for it. <laughs> well, Ed, welcome oh. to the room. Welcome, Thanks. welcome Thanks, to the room. Thanks, baby. Ah, ah. Thanks, yeah. baby. Oh, okay. You know, and this is what, this what Super Bowl is about. It's what football is about. It's about battling through, you know, and playing through pain. And, uh, man, you know, I knew it was Super Bowl. It was going to take a lot to get me out of this, bro. <laughs> I, I, I play with you. Ray Lewis gets a lot of credit, and he should. But on the back end and in that locker room, as well as on that sideline, you're a leader. Yeah. You're a leader. 
So take me through some of the situations out there tonight that you displayed the leadership. I mean, on the sideline, you know, we gave up a few plays. You know, we had a, we had a certain coverage call, you know, as a secondary. And we, we let, let that seven route the boss. You know, we, we it's like a catch-22 for Bernard. He's looking for two things, and we put him in a bad position. You know, and um, we had a little fussing going on, on the sideline, but, you know, we fell apart the Denver game. I just remind the guys of that. Like, man, we got too much negative energy right now. We got to turn this back around. You know, and um, I mean, the chaplain, Mike, um, I mean, um, Rev, put it in perspective at chapel today. It was all about finishing, man. You know, and the last story he told was about Jesus finishing to save us, you, you know, and, and, and man, we did that. Preach, we please. did that, man. I mean, we, we, we fought to the end, you know, and um, we, I mean, we've been through so much adversity to get to this point. It's right to end on this note. And for me to be here right now, not individually, but represent the Ravens and to give God the glory, man, because we've been through a lot, you know, and uh, man, I mean, I, I sat in my room, I ain't cut the TV on all this week just looking at that river, thinking about my brother. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. Art. Tory's brother. Chuck. Little Ty, man. Everything we went through to get this, man. This like the exclamation mark on my career. And I love football, man. I'm going to keep playing this, man. But... This is not about us, man. It's bigger than the game. None of us would be here right now if it wasn't for him, man. Saving us to do what he did, it's not about me, man. Because I'm going to do my little part. I'm not perfect. I do my little part to help these kids, to give them the information to be better men, better young men, just like you helped me. You know, and uh, we're not perfect, so we need to stop judging each other, man. Help each other, encourage each other, man. I know it's tough times, man, but... We all go through it. We need to help each other, man. Ed, you talk about finishing, Ed, and you know, and you're talking about helping the young kids, which you do. But I was there when you first got in the league and Ray grabbed you and yeah. brought you over, showed you how to make be a great pro. Yes. What was it like tonight when that clock struck zero? Uh, what did you say to Ray Lewis? Hey, for him, man, to him, for him to walk out like this, I told him. Ray Lewis is football, the way football is supposed to be played on and off the field. He's been through a lot, man. A lot of us can't even imagine walking in his shoes, to walk in his shoes, man. And I told him he's football. I told him he's getting everything I have tonight. So no injury. All of us wanted to give it for him, man. To send him out like this, he deserve it, man. He deserved every bit of this and to play a great football game against a great team. And goal line, goal line, that's defense. That's all defense. Hats off to join our offense and our special teams in San Fran, man. But to end it like that for Ray, that's A, man. It can't end no better way. Ed, I want to be in the now right now as a champion. Take me into your head. Take me into your heart. What does it feel like? Surreal. Surreal. I mean, I can't explain it. I'm, I shed all my tears in the AFC Championship, man, because getting past that was, that was tough, man. Getting here, being here, winning it. It's all Baltimore. It's all Baltimore. This family. You know, this... I know a lot of people say I deserve it because of what I've, how I played the game, but it's all of us, man. It's Baltimore. This purple. The fans are excited around our set because the most valuable player of the Super Bowl has just arrived right here, and they are chanting the letters MVP at Joe Flacco at a Super Bowl. Congratulations. Appreciate it. What is, what's going through your head right now, Joe? I have no idea. It has not <laughs> sunk in even a little bit. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to be sitting here if it had sunk in. So, But is this, I imagine... Something you dreamed, dreamt about as a, it's as a unbelievable, kid? unbelievable, man. I mean, when you start playing sports and just when you, you know, when you're a little kid and you know, you're on the schoolyard, you just, you know, you dream of being a Super Bowl champion one day, and uh, we made it happen. What, what, what has gone on with you just specifically, just you, since the Week 16 game against the New York Giants? Do you feel that 
that that you you have a calmness that's come over you, a different scenario. You're still the same human Listen, being. I'm I'm always like that. I feel like I'm always pretty calm. Um, I think I've played like this for a while. I think when we're put on the big stage and we need to win games, we're a good football team. So that's what happens. We usually win them. You won the Super Bowl. You're the Super Bowl MVP. You said you're the lead and you proved it. You know you got a hundred million coming, right? I said that in there. Uh, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Steve Bashani told me that uh, if this happens, uh, yeah. then I can go uh, pound on his desk and really stick it to him. And I said, that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> See all those black holes back there? Wow. A hundred million! Wow. wow. Yes, Joe, Joe Flacco Joe just Joe came Joe. on live television yeah. and said he's going to stick it to the man. That's right. Uh, in a good way. Oh, of course. No, no, no. no. I mean, in in the best way possible. You're, you're I love him, best. but. You're yeah. coming with the Lombardi trophy and an MVP. I mean, right. that, that's, I mean trust me, he, he's okay that's with all it. Right, he's all okay right. I would with love it. to be your agent right now. <laughs> Look at all the Flacco's. You know your brother's about to get a hundred million, right? He said yeah, more. They're hey, all, Joe, he said more. Yeah. Oh, Joe. believe me, they know. They're trying to get some of that. They're trying to get their peace, man. Right. <laughs> Joe, hey, tell, tell me this. Throughout this year, throughout this year, your offense has been carrying his team. And in, in the past, it was a defensive team. Yeah. What was it like looking at your defense in the bottom half of the league? You guys are putting up points in close games. What was it like watching them come around? It was it, it was pretty cool. I mean, they didn't really play together that much early in the season, all of our guys. I mean, the, the, the starting defense did not play that many games together until the end of the season. Um, and they let up a little bit of yards here and there, but they usually stop people in the red zone. And that's what's made us successful. That's what made them successful this year, is that when teams got down there, they kept on the field goals, or they got the ball turned over and gave it back to us. So that was a huge, that was huge for them. And I think in, in order to get here, you need to have that balance between offense and defense. You can't just be one-sided, and we had it. Did you feel a little pressure because when you were young, they carried you, that now that Ray was hurt and this defense wasn't what it once was, that you had to, to take this bull by the horn and make sure you got this team where yeah. they needed to be? Uh, no doubt about it. I mean, it's, it's great to have that on your shoulders and be able to go out and do it. I think that's the way this team's always been a little bit. You know, we do what we have to do to win the football games, and I feel like if we've had to, if our offense had to step up, you know, a couple years ago, we probably would have done it. It's just something that we didn't necessarily have to do. We didn't have to go out there and put 500 yards up. I would have liked to, but it's just, <laughs> it wasn't what we were doing. And um, I think you, you saw today, you saw throughout this run that we got some talented guys on our side of the ball and um, young guys, and I'm excited about that. Yeah, it just seems like you guys really made a conscious effort to really start going after the big plays. And you started making a lot of big plays. Torrey Smith down the field, Jacoby Jones down the field. What happened to this? How did this offense just turn the corner like that and start making so many big plays? Hey, man, we got a young team. And last year we had a, got a lot of guys playing for the first time. So they really got going. And that big play was a big part of why we were successful this postseason. And I think the cool thing about it is it's not something we force. Um, we kind of let it come to us. We do take our shots here and there. But um, they come in timely situations, and we usually – you know, I think we execute them at a high level, and that's why we've been able to be successful. Ray Lewis said that you're now the general. <laughs> Do you think this is your team now, Joe Flacco, for you to lead moving forward in 2013 and on? Listen, there's no doubt about it that I'm going to lead this football team there into the go. future. That's the way but, to go. Um, but this is a team. For I mean, sure. we get the misconception in Baltimore that it's a bunch of individuals playing for, you know, the victory. There is not a closer knit. I mean, I've been on a lot of tight locker rooms in college and high school. There, there is not a closer knit group of guys that I've ever been around. And I, I, I challenge you know teams in the NFL to kind of believe that they are the way we are in that locker room. Ray Lewis is the best teammate that you can ever imagine. And you know, it, it's kind of sad that he gets, you know, no, he's kind of known for the opposite of that when that couldn't be far further from the truth. The Baltimore Ravens win Super Bowl 47. The older brother, John, beats younger brother, Jim. Jack and Jackie Harbaugh, their long week is over and Ray Lewis's long ride to another Lombardi Trophy ends in the New Orleans Superdome on the last game of his career.
34-31 is the final with his three first half touchdowns to give him 11 in this postseason tying. Not breaking Kurt Warner's mark. The one that he also holds with Joe Montana. That makes him the MVP, Joe Flacco of Super Bowl 47. Anticipation can play interesting tricks on the mind. It can make time, that complete absolute, seem positively elastic, while often waiting slows it to an ostensible halt. On a week like last week, in a setting like this one, time lapsed with astonishing momentum. Seconds, minutes, hours, days, all swallowed up by the conversation, the exhilaration, the obsession with what was approaching. The anticipation in this rare case, an essential part of the very spectacle. By game day, the anticipation was nearly over, meaning now it was the time to get lost inside the magnitude. That extraordinary feeling of heading to a place that everyone else, everywhere else, would be watching from afar. That singular sense of being part of it all. A football game, a triumph of pageantry, a marvel of modern magnitude. In a sense, every Super Bowl ends the same way, with a collective exhale after all that anticipation. But a craving, too, for time to speed back up and for the NFL season to start all over again.